Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Jing Chen. <clears throat> Jing Chen, however you pronounce that. Jing Chen. Uh, for you guys today. And no, it's not just because I got beat up by one yesterday. To be clear, the Jing did not win. But uh, he did, in fact, beat me up. <clears throat> he did, in fact, beat me up. That is true. Um, <clears throat> I've been wanting to play Jing for a while now. I actually like this Guardian a lot. He's a lot of fun. And also, I've been just wanting to play Guardians in Duel a little bit, you know, dip, dip my hands in a little bit. Like, especially the lower tier ones, which, uh, I would not say Jing is a lower tier Guardian, but he's not, like, the top three Guardians. So, if you're not top three in, like, the worst class ever, then you have to be terrible, right? That's just how that works. Wrong. And Jing Chen, OP man. Its character actually slams, and I'm going to prove it to you today. <clears throat> now, I mean, uh, I, of course I say that, and I'm going to lose. Naturally, but we're gonna try our best to win regardless. I need to get a drink, man. I need to clear my throat here. Yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. And also, I think I'm gonna go bobble, but I don't think, I don't think I want bobble to be the main focus of this uh, build. Or not build, main focus of this uh, video. Um. Just because I've done a lot of bobble content recently, and also, like, I just think playing Jing Chen takes precedence over bobble anyways, so. But I probably will be going bobble. I may or may not put it in the thumbnail. I don't know. If I do put it in the thumbnail, it'll probably just be bobble and no other items, but. But anyways, without further ado, we're hopping in. Uh, Jing's early game actually isn't that terrible, because his clear is pretty decent. His clear is decent, and his sustain is absurdly good. But as you can see with this little passive meter right here, I have increased HP nowadays. Didn't used to be like that, but Jing actually gets increased HP. Wow, his clear is good. Uh, increased HP and a ton of HP 5 when you have this passive fully stacked. And you stack your passive just by hitting enemies with your uh, abilities. Could be minions, could be gods, whatever. It's one stack per ability hit. Per target so like if I won the minion wave I get six stacks if I won soul I get one stack and the jumps do count as separate like abilities oh whoops whoopsies because she seems so scared of me man could you imagine I wonder if this guy's like lower rank I mean I, I I have no idea I don't know how good or bad he is so far but it would be kind of funny if this guy's like a lower ranked player and he's just against this Jing Chen like, what do I do, guys? Alright, we're just trying to force speeds as fast as possible. There... Eh, never mind. I was gonna say, there's an argument to be said that maybe you could, uh... You could wait until you back the Chronos Pendant to force the beads, but... It'd probably be the same outcome regardless. Because the time you wait, you know, would, would offset the cooldown on it or whatever. I suppose. Um, I think we do... We can't really force this as a Guardian, right? So we want to try to fight her the best of our abilities. Dude, we're kind of destroying her right now. Soul has a good early game, too. But we're kind of just destroying her. Alright, maybe this is greedy, but I'm going to use my one on this minion wave and then go to the red. Maybe, And if I lose this red or don't get it in time by like a couple of seconds, it's because I used my one on the minion wave. Looks like we're fine. We're fine. This is I thought. We're good. No problem. I calculated. Bro, what is Jing yapping about right now, dude? Um, oh, I don't know if I just mentioned this or not a second ago when I was talking about Bobble, but probably not going to be like a super long video today. I don't know. I don't know. You guys know the answer better than I currently do at this very moment in time because you guys can see the video link. But, um, and also like well, it's not even about the length of the video. It's more about how many games I'm going to be playing. I'm probably only going to play like one or two games of Jing. Now, now, even if I did stick to one or two games, it could still end up being a 50 minute video if the games are super long, right? I don't know. We'll find out. But um, yeah, I, I plan on only playing like <clears throat> one or two games of Jing unless they're just all surrenders for some reason. But who would surrender against Jing? Surely the dual community wouldn't do that, right? Dude, he's terrified of me. He even has Bancroft's finish, too. Please don't take my Chesters. Please don't. No. Okay, at least I got one. I mean, and I <clears throat> I started both of them, so I got the gold from opening them as well. 
Look at him. He's terrified of us. Timing that perfectly as per usual. Oh my god, he's always going to be able to CC me in my thing the whole game, isn't he? Dude, I have a feeling this is going to be a really rough one, and not because I'm Jing Chen. I mean, a little bit because I'm Jing Chen, but because I'm just against a super safe player and a super safe character, and it's like, ugh. I just already know how this is going to go, man. It's going to it's gonna be like 25 minutes of me trying to kill him. I wonder if Soul 3 counts as, like, uh, escaping the planes, you know what I mean? Like, like if she, if she's standing on that scepter, actually comment down below. I'm, I'm really curious and I don't want to test it myself because screw soul. Does anyone know what happens when soul uses her three on that scepter? Like when she turns into the ball, is she still on it? Is she still contesting it or does uh, she give it to someone else? I would assume she doesn't leave the battlefield. And so she just still contests it in the ball form. That'd be my guess, but I have no idea. I have not tested it. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure we didn't just test it right there because she got off a bit. All right, so we probably will be going bobble later, but it's going to take a little while to get there because these two items only give... Uh, they only give 30% cooldown, sadly. So we need another item. Probably going to be Staff of Mirrodin, I would assume. I don't really see any other items here that's really i mean i could go relic dagger too and just spam my med i could just have met up like every single fight but relic uh, but staff of mirrodin is so much damage though all right so he doesn't have ult but he has beads i would assume okay he chose not to be maybe they just came up maybe i'm crazy but i feel like those beads were up the entire time and they didn't just come up and he could have immune that but he was being greedy because because one i'm a guardian and two because he had soul three active and he figured soul three would just save him right he'd be like he just assumed he would just get out by default there i really want this meteor man meteor is going to be such a big deal in general because like I, I, I poked her tower. I don't want her to heal it. She's a character that can poke my tower very easily. And also because I'm a guardian, I don't have as much damage as maybe some other characters I, I could be playing would. So. What that means is, is I need all the help I can. I, I can get with my scepter. See, as you can see, my scepter did 196 damage there. It's the second thing underneath the jump. So it is doing damage. It is helping. All right, she ulted our two. This character is actually oppressive, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. Let's be real. I don't think Irritable is like the greatest dual player I've ever seen. No offense, Mr. Irritable. Um, but, man. but still, man. Uh, you can see the potential you can see how much damage we're doing i've actually decided to go bobble first because staff of mirrodin if you look staff of mirrodin starts with the uh gem of fate start now that doesn't necessarily like my theory here doesn't inherently mean that it's better but it is true that technically i could start bobble and then have 40 percent cooldown with just a bobble which is considered to be a waste right but then, once I get 900 gold and I buy the tier 1 Gem of Fate, just the tier 1, I mean, I'm going to finish the item, right? But I'm saying, once I get the tier 1, I'll have 50% cooldown because I'll have already purchased Bobble. Which is true. It's a faster way to get 50% cooldown. But is there an argument to say that you would do more damage still just going Mirrodin and having 40% cooldown and waiting for Bobble than to rush 50% cooldown like this? Yes, that is very possible. But we're doing this any anyways because this seems more fun, right? This just seems like a more fun time to me, personally, so that's what we're doing. In fact, I actually kind of want to wait for 50% cooldown, so what I'm going to do here is I need 1050 for that, so I need 1950 gold, 1950 gold in order to purchase tier 1, uh, or in order to purchase the 10% cooldown and to finish this item. Um, hmm. Dude, it is so hot in my room right now. I really need to turn on the the air conditioning. All right, all right, we're gonna back. I'm gonna take off my hoodie.
Oh my freaking god, dude. How long have I been muted? Oh my god. I think I've been muted since... I've been muted since I took off my hoodie, I think. Oh, oh my god, that's so annoying, dude. I actually explained so many things, too. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope I've only been muted since I took my hoodie off. When, when even was that, dude? I feel like I've been muted for like two minutes now. I explained so many things, too. What I explained that, like... What did I say? Oh my god, dude. I kind of just want to scrap this video now because it's so embarrassing and silly. But to be fair, nothing's really happened. Um, at least I think. I, I, obviously, after this, I'll check the video and make sure and see how long I was muted for. And then I'll decide. Like, if you're currently listening to me, then clearly I decided it was fine. Maybe it's just a funny moment. Haha. -ha. Oh, surely it was only like two minutes, right? That I was muted for like two or three minutes, maybe. Oh my god. Whatever. Anyways, the couple of things I that I remember I said was um, definitely gonna need a divine ruin because she has triple healing. You know, she has double life steal. She has a health chalice and she has healing on her one. Right, that's a ton of sustain. So we're going to need, so we're going to need divine ruin for that. Also, I was thinking about going reaver, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping, but I don't really think reaver does that much damage unless you're against someone who's literally stacking HP like a billion HP kind of thing. I really don't feel like it does that much damage. Right now, honestly, we're losing trades. I really do believe that the main thing stopping us from winning these trades harder is just the fact that we don't have any anti-heal. Dude, I cannot believe I muted. Oh, I'm so upset. I, I do apologize, guys. I don't think I've ever had that happen before where I just can, where I mute myself mid-game and don't unmute. I've had it happen before where I never started my re or I was muted from the beginning of the recording. I've had that happen, but I've never had it to where like partway through the recording I just muted. Oh my goodness. I don't think you guys will care that much. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, like maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know, but like is it really that big of a deal? Because like to me it seems like a big deal. <laughs> but I'm sure like there's at least a few of you that are just kind of laughing right now. Just like, dude. Who, who cares? It's really not that deep, you know? Like, it's really not that deep. Like, I was wondering why you went quiet for a second, but other than that, it's not that serious, you know? I hope it was only, like, two or three minutes, and I hope that if people did, like, wonder why I was muted, maybe they just skipped through the video a little bit to, like, see if I unmuted at one point or another, which I did, thankfully, unmute. It's hot in my room right now, so my brain doesn't work. Okay, so we have anti-heal now, which is huge. And also this guy's beads were down, and he's pushing on my tower line, so he's just dead, bro. Bro is just dead. Another reason why I don't want to scrap this video, by the way, because, like, I, I truly don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, surely it's not, right? That I muted for, like, two minutes. But also because, like, bro... I don't want to just record like 50 Jing Chin games, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to actually win my games. No, I'm just kidding. Jing's viable. He is. It's just obviously if you're against a top GM player playing the top GM characters, Jing can still win, but your chances of winning are much lower, right? Obviously. So I'm not exactly trying to spam Jing all day. I think I am still undefeated right now, but if we do lose a game playing Jing, for this video that's okay but yeah just kind of explaining why i really really don't want to scrap the video i suppose because so far i think it's been a decent video you know showing off jing's prowess i, th I feel like i've explained things pretty decently i'm just gonna open here see what she does all right she's not gonna beat it or anything interestingly enough we mistimed her thing a little bit she gave us a genji's proc Dude, Jing goes hard in the late game, man. He surrendered. He actually surrendered. What the heck, man? No way. Okay, I'm going to skip you guys into another Jing game. And right after I click end recording here, I'm going to go see how long I was muted for. Because that was... Ugh. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. But let's go see. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll skip you guys into the next game. All right, guys, we're off into the second game, and I just watched back the um, the footage. I played back the game tape, and uh, we were only muted for like two minutes, give or take. So 
Yeah, it's not that deep. Uh, we still showed it, as you guys can probably tell. Probably can tell based off the fact that you guys watched it. Yeah, that might have been like a like a small indication that we left it in. Um, against a Medusa, bro. Like, can we even go meditation spam? Like, is that even the play? Like, she has anti heal in her kit, and and she's kind of like scary and mean and ferocious. Hmm. Bro's a content machine. All right, so like I'm thinking we go like Blink Thorns or like Blink Horrific or something of that nature. But like, I don't know, we're just gonna start Blink, why not? Ooh. We're just gonna start Blink and we'll decide later whether we want like a Horrific or a Thorns or a Med or something. Cause I think we need a Blink. Like I think, maybe not actually. Am I tripping? Am I tripping on that gin and juice? Tripping on gin. I'm gonna try using my three first and see if that makes a difference in the clear and then two. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't really make much of a difference in the clear, but what it does do that the other start or the other like using my two before my jump doesn't give me full HP five stacks, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe you guys can rewind and check that if you care enough, but pretty sure it doesn't give me full stacks. Which is kind of like a small difference, but a difference nonetheless. None then wait, is it none the less or none then less? None nonetheless. None then less. None the it's definitely the, right? It's definitely the. It's gotta be the. Can't be anything else but the. Bro, I feel like we just clear this wave without even trying, bro. Like we're just that guy. Dude, everyone goes beads versus Jing, which is respectable. I understand why they're going to beads, but like the thing about uh, my logic here is because you would say, of course they're going to go beads. Look at your ult. My logic is, well, there's plenty of times where people should go something and they just choose not to. So like, I was kind of just hoping they would do the same, you know? <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, they should go beads, but like sometimes they just don't. Like, there's been so many cases where, like, people should go one thing and then they pull up with the shell. You know? They're just like, hey, I got this shell. What in tarnation, brother? Oh my. Oh my god. We got a pve -er. I can already tell he's a pve -er based off the way that he just out pve would me. <laughs> just playing. That was a good play on his part, to be honest. He forced the buff. I mean, like, it is a PvE play, but it's like, at the same time, I don't really think he plans on fighting me anytime soon, so. It's one of those things where it's like, you're either gonna use your ult or you're not. And yeah, what's the point of having it if you're not gonna use it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot my buff was down. Because <laughs> I did it. True. As you can see, we're completely locked in. Nothing can stop us. Nothing could stop us. We're all the way up. Bro, I might have to go double defense later on in this game. Is that crazy to do? Nah, I mean, okay, I'll go double defense if I determine that I literally need it. Like, I have to have it. Got it. I need it. Um, but, like, I'm going to try my best to not get it. I'm not going to get it unnecessarily. I'm only going to get it if I truly believe that's the only way we can win. That's the only way. You know the way. All right, where's my Chester's? Oh, Chester number one. Put him right there. That's where I like him. That's where I keep him. Right there. Oh no, no, no! Pull him around the corner. No, he ulted for a Chester. What? Is that not insane? Bro just ulted for a Chester. What am I witnessing? No way. Movement speed. Hit him with a one, making his autos do less damage, but it turns out the Viper shot still hurts. Who would have guessed? OMG. Everyone is shocked and surprised. I'm just gonna blink here for pressure, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't know why I keep saying that, by the way, but I'm just kind of feeling it right now. What can I say except you're welcome? 
All right, we're backing. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Wait, is he going to my blue? Oh, that would be so toxic, bro. Get off of that. Go to spit on me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now what? Now what are you going to do now, huh? Why is my jump so glitchy? I don't think that kills him, but it might. It does not. It does not. It does. It does not. This is what I thought. Alright, we're probably going to end up losing the red here, but I'll be honest, probably would have ended up losing the red regardless. Alright, we're definitely going to end up losing this red, but that's not going to stop us from trying to get it. He might just ult for it or something crazy. Oh my... And he's losing minions in the tower? Oh, we are just out farming him, out playing him, just out doing him in every single way possible. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a proximity ward. Actually, I mean, I don't really plan on using this anytime soon. I just kind of want to have it. I need to have it on me, on me, in my, in my arsenal. I need it because there may come a day, sooner or later, there may come a day in which this proximity ward is the difference of whether I chase her down and get the kill, the difference of whether I escape her grasp, or the difference of whether like we end up winning the trade because I put it in between us and it blocks her auto attack. One of those things. Eat. Bro, I, I respected him doing what he did for the red buff, like ulting the red way earlier in the game. But that ulting the Chester play, that was insane. That was absolutely insane, the member. I want to ult him here, see what he'll give us. Alright, he gave us nothing. I was thinking he was going <laughs> to... Okay. I was thinking he was going to beads it. Maybe his beads are still down. Yeah, I am kind of bad at tracking cooldowns and stuff like that sometimes. I don't always pay the most attention. And maybe I'm just a big dumb idiot, but I swear he at least had his ult or his beads there. He had one of the things there, right? Had to have had one of them. Maybe not, though. If he didn't have either one of those things, then he shouldn't have dashed the way he did. Because, like, his dash is, like, his last... Oh. A strength test. Bro, is Jing Chen just OP? Like, this character might just be broken, guys. Like, I'm pretty sure. He just dashed in, but I missed my... Uh, I missed my thing. Alright, he should... Oh, whoops, I missed again. He should have beads. He's laughing at me. No one laughs at me and gets away with it. I missed again, bro. <laughs> what is happening to my brain? Yeah, yeah. No one laughs at me and gets away with it, Mister. Besides all the people who have and did, but I mean, if you just don't count those people. Oh no, no back! Don't, don't. Do what, what was that little jumpy flip kick you just did there, bro? Like, get out of here! You got a bag. Uh, I don't know what relic I need just yet. Oh, he's going. Crits? That makes thorns a little bit more valuable, I think, but keyword being a little bit. It's not like it's this rant it's not like it's just OP now. Or I'm gonna auto lose if I don't get it, but it makes it good in multiple ways. She might do more burst damage. Okay. They're gonna see if she's going for a red. She might do more burst damage, which makes the thorns do more damage, but also she might do more burst burst damage, which makes the thorns mitigation that it gives more beneficial. Probably should level your Jing ult over the two, by the way. I think it does more damage than the two. The two goes down in cooldown, which is kind of nice, but... Mostly, I think you should level the, the ult. That's the main reason I level the two over the three, by the way. Is because, like, first of all, I think the two does a little bit more damage. I actually don't feel like doing the math right now, but... Just as a feeling thing, I'm pretty sure it does a little bit more damage. But also, it does go down in cooldown and up in root duration. But honestly, mainly just the cooldown part. That's the main reason why I like to level it. Alright, he does have a boomerang. Finished. 
I really do think, like, Thorns is such a good item versus Medusa. But she is going to have magic defense to mitigate it a bit because it does do magical damage. So we got to take that into account. Does that, is it truly, is, is like a, a magical damage character building thorns, is that truly going to be better than just getting like an upgraded med or horrific or something of that nature? I don't know. I think the med would go hard probably. One thing I'm worried about though is like Jin gets stuck in animations, like his two and his three animations, where I feel like like he it takes him a long time to get his abilities off, kind of sorta. So it's like I wonder if meditation kind of like is overkill, especially with a bobble. I don't know. Maybe we just wait to see what second relic she gets, and if it's something dumb that like I can just horrific her, like I uh, maybe I just get the horrific emblem and call it a day. Because it would allow me to get more cooldowns off because it would make her do a lot less damage, etc. Right? Um, hmm. I don't really know what to get here because usually I just go, like in recent, recent history, I've just been going like a CDR item like a Mirrodin or something, but I don't really need that. So I guess I'll just get my pen. I suppose I'll just get my penetration. I thought she was going for Bolding in there. Oh, wait, she dashed on me. I want to try to force something from her here. Whether it's a, her ult or her beads, I want to try to get something from her. Popping the horn shard. Okay, this dude has no idea where he's at right now. And has no idea how to not get his dash caught as Medusa. Like, literally no idea. I will take it, man. If I'm playing Jing Chen. Please give me players like this, man. Because I don't know if this guy is really bad or if he's just not respecting the Jing Chen. I don't know. Uh, if you're listening to this, Mr. Medusa, I'm sorry. Okay, I just like call it how I see it. And you're losing pretty hard to a Jing right now. What? No disrespect intended. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Dude, if he stole that, I would have cried, man. What the heck? Okay, I wouldn't have cried, like, but I would have been very sad. The problem here is we're running out of mana sauce. This guy cannot seem to land an auto attack, however. But my one is absolutely doing tons of work for us, making it to where her autos don't even hit that hard. I think he's just giving up by this point. Oh, he dashed away. Okay. Um, yeah, part of me wants to be like, this is a stupid game now, because he's clearly trolling, but he's not trolling. Like, he was he was playing that fight like a normal fight, he just realized he was going to lose. And he realized that he's not going to be able to get away from me, because I still have Blink, and I'm a jump character. Like, I'll always be able to chase him. And even if my jump is down, I have Bobble, right? Bobble plus Cronus Pendant, so I'd always be able to catch him. This, cl this dude clearly has never faced a Jing Chen in Duel before. Which is fine. I mean, literally in the in the last video, if you guys haven't seen the last video and you're curious, check it out. But literally in the last video when I played Lancelot, I went versus a Jing Chen, and I died twice in the early game, and was actually shocked at how good Jing's early game is. So what I'm saying is, is you don't really have to be a bad player to be to uh, not know everything and be unexpecting of the Jing Chen DPS. Is he's actually taunting? He's taunt spamming because he secured a buff versus a guardian. That's his proudest moment. All right, never mind. Screw this guy. I don't care if you're a viewer or not. I mean, I'm not going to get personal, but I will say it like it is. And how it is is you suck. He's taunt. He's taunting. Dude, make him stop taunting, bro. This is hurting my feelings. Make him stop. Bible thump. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh wait, he did get. He didn't get anything that's gonna like help him with a horrific. Hmm. Do we get something? I mean, do, do we just get the horrific and call it a day? I mean, I don't mind having this horn shard. The horn shard's actually pretty decent. Obviously, like a meditation would be better, but meditation I have to spend money to upgrade it. 
I just finished this item and bought a full route to Hootie. Like, he is not expecting this damage right now. He's holding his dash like a smart boy. He's a smart boy. He's a dumb boy. Alright. Now that we got some of that out of my system there. Feeling better. Feeling good. That's what you get. That's what you get for laughing at a guardian. Or for taunting a guardian. Whichever the case may be. Whatever, whatever it was. Nice spam laugh, loser. First of all. Spam taunt. Second of all. <laughs> Not even your first game on. <laughs> My goat. Wait. I can't tell if this guy's being serious or not, bro. Maybe he is just being ironic. He's just being a funny guy. GG's, brother. Yeah, I think he is being ironic. Okay. GG's. All right, GG, man. Well played. Just kidding. You suck. But uh, I would assume if you have a sense of humor like this guy, then he'll be okay with me telling him that he sucks at the game and he'll laugh about it and have a good time, you know? Because also, just because he sucked in one, like in this smite match right here, match ID 13542700029, this player sucked, okay? But that doesn't mean that he's a bad player. It means, uh, it means he had a bad game, surely, right? Surely? Smile. Um, now, without further ado, we're going to go into the God Builder here, but I'm going to be honest, guys. This is kind of like a normal situation. I mean, not normal, um, but I don't really feel like there's a lot of wiggle room on these builds. Like, Let me tab out so I can mute Jing's loud breathing butt in the background but i'm gonna be honest if i can't like maybe you guys have different strats but i'm gonna be completely real with you guys i am going to build the same thing if i ever played jing again i would build the exact same thing every single game so um staff of mirrodin it matter yeah, yeah so you go mirrodin not in the physical build right you go Mir Mir mirrodin when you're against a magical character and you need to cap out your cooldown so just keep that in mind. I'm, so that's why I'm going to put it here because it is your third item and another build. I mean, honestly, maybe I should just do this to make it a little bit more obvious, but at the same time. Oh, and also maybe I should put the this Breastplate Glyph on here because that's the one you should go. By the way, uh, if you're against the Hunter, Jing 1 plus Breastplate of Vigilance proc after your ult makes him do like no damage, right? So anyways, you're going to go boom, boom. Uh, in, the, in the magical build and then i would say you're gonna get a bobble you can go bobble first if you want like i did it in the video right i think some of my explanation on that was uh, muted but whatever um so i would recommend this and then after this you go anti-heal if you need it if you don't need it then you don't get it wow i know it's crazy uh and then you go ob shard so it'd be like boom boom if you don't need anti-heal then you can fit in a, a rod of tahuti uh, honorable mention Reaver. You can get Reaver if you want. Decent item, but I, in my experience, it doesn't hit hard enough. Um, it does have diminishing returns, meaning like if you look at this very last line here, subsequent hit, well, the last like full sentence, I should say, not line, subsequent hits on the same target do half bonus damage for the next three seconds. So what that means is if you're spamming your abilities on them, it's doing less damage and Jing always spams his abilities. So it's like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as valuable, but honorable mention, why not, right? And if you are, it, it, this is this is pretty much your magical build. Again, if you don't need anti-heal, then you just boom, boom. It's pretty much it, right? Uh, you can go double defense. Like, there's always, you can always go double defense. Against hunters, your options would be like Midgard. Against uh, warriors, you probably just don't need double defense. Against assassins, you probably don't need it. Um, against mages, you could go pestilence, but you probably don't need it. It's mainly just hunters that you need double defense for, and you don't even need it for them all, all the time, I should say. Uh, this is what I build in most situations, or, you know, like I said, this. Now, an obvious part is uh, if we don't, or if we're going the physical build here, so we don't need the mirrored in, so we go boom, 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 boom. Now, again, if you don't need the Divine Ruin, then you have another item slot, right? And also, you don't have to go Sphinx's Bobble, but I think it's good. I think you should probably build it on a lot of Guardians. Uh, if you don't need Anti Heal for whatever reason, and you don't like Reaver, because I kind of agree, Reaver sucks donkey butt cheeks. Um, what could you go here? You could go Polly. 
honorable mention polynomicon you could go doom orb honorable mention doom orb you could go double defense um i'd say most of the time you're going to want to pick up a divine ruin honestly most of the time that's what you're looking for but um you honestly could go staff of mirrodin even in the physical build you really could just do it and overcap your CDR wouldn't be that bad. It has a good proc, has good stats. So, but yeah, you, know, you got options for your last item. But most of the time you don't, actually. Most of the time you just get yourself a divine, like right around here. Or and if you, if, uh, you don't think you need the healing that bad, but you need it later, you could go Abshard into divine into Rod of Tehuti. Either way, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy watching. Again, I did not, uh, I did not uh, skip anything. Here, let me let me get these stupid rank joust slots. See, you guys can see I don't even play that much duel anymore. I pretty much just play to record for you guys because the duel meta has been boring for a while. I wish they would just unban the characters. I really do. I also wish there were more there were more uh 1v1. Excuse me, 1v1 tournaments that would make it more exciting and stuff like that. But um, yeah. I just played two games of Xing and I apparently didn't die either time. Well, you know, call it a day. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll show you guys the leaderboard. Why not? I, re I rarely do this, but I probably should do it more often. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.